tonight. Um, a number of you know me pretty well, but some of you don't at all, so I'll just do a real quick bio. Um, I have a degree in politics, minor in economics, and after I graduated from college, married, and my husband and I went to Africa with the Peace Corps, where we taught English. I uh, came back here and I worked as a legislative aide to Congressman Lee Hamilton. Um, I had children, became a PTA activist, got frustrated with what I saw, ran for school board, lost the first time, did win the second time, and I uh, have helped, uh, I was on the board in 1996, and up until last March, I am very proud of what uh, our schools and the role I've played in helping to make them really among the best in the nation. Um, I've got two daughters and four grandkids, and two of my grandkids are going to the schools here in Arlington now, which is really nice for me, personally. Um, tonight, what I'd like to talk with you all about is um, Arlington's challenges and Arlington's strengths. First, the strengths. People love living here. This is a great place to live. Um, we have been blessed for decades with progressive leadership, outstanding county employees, highly educated and involved citizens like yourselves, top-notch schools. Smart policies and strategic planning have helped make Arlington really one of the best places in the world to live and have given us a very strong tax base. Now, our challenges. Things are changing. Every year, it's more expensive to live here or start a business. Traffic gets worse. It's harder to find, it's harder to find a parking space. Neighborhoods feel squeezed and we lose diversity. More and more people just can't afford to live here in Arlington. Meanwhile, the federal government, long a mainstay of our economy, is shrinking the possible sequestration is going to affect us much more than really about anybody else. And all around of us, our neighbors are working on their own smart growth policies. Soon Tyson's will be connected with, by Metro with the Silver Line. And all around us, uh, rents are going down for offices and their buildings are going up. In short, we're starting to lose our comparative um, advantage. We need strong leadership to meet the challenges we've got coming up and I can provide that leadership and that's why I'm running. I've got three focuses. One. Uh, we need to set our priorities uh, strategically. We cannot do everything. We need to focus on core services. We need to focus on our infrastructure, schools, um, transit, education, and a strong social safety net. We just can't do everything. Second, we need effective citizen involvement so that as we grow and change, people feel that all this change is happening with them, not to them. Third, we need sensible transit. I have been working deliberately to gather information on the proposed streetcar, and the more I look at it, the more convinced I am that what we need is um, what they call a bus rapid transit system, and that, or a BRT. And I think that is by far the best solution for us at this point. The more I discuss it with voters, the more I learn how little most of us are informed about what a modern BRT can provide and at what cost. And before we make a huge investment um, of this magnitude, we really need to have a robust and informed conversation with the citizens. Um, thank you for being here tonight. I look forward to your questions and hope to have your support. Let's talk about the trolley, the streetcar. Um, I, I think this probably will be the most important vote that I'm going to take in my time on the board, and I'm hoping to be on the board for about 12 years. Uh, and while it seems that you know, this, this decision has been made, actually, if you really look at what we've done, we've been designing a transit system. And we've been assuming it's going to be a streetcar, but we've designed a system on which a bus rapid transit could work just as well. And while there's been a lot of discussion, part of the reason that I abstained when I did is I needed to look into it because while some people say everybody's against it, other people say everybody's for it. The truth is somewhere in the middle. And what is true is we have not done, as a community, as a county, a real cost-benefit analysis. And that's what's got to be done. We need to look at the real costs and the benefits and look at that and then make a balance and make a decision. And again, we've been designing a transit system, and it's a good system. What kind of vehicle needs to be used is actually a decision that is going to be finally made down the line. And before we get there, I hope you all inform yourselves and we have a really good, robust decision, discussion about it. Thank you. That's, that's with, and, and, and including citizens as much as possible. Um, I am enjoying being on the board. I see a lot of strengths. I see some things that I'd like to change and work on the culture of the board because it's a team. And so I'm a new person and I'm becoming part of the team, but I'm also independent. And actually, it's an art and a balance, which I did quite well, I think, for 15 years on the school board. Um, so you can look at my record. I'm a pretty known quantity. The things I love about this job, there are issues where it, an email fix it. It can be a quick fix like a sidewalk or a tree or some problem like that that you really can fix pretty quickly. That is incredibly satisfying. Then there are big issues where you can also make a difference. And no, it's not that I'm going to be doing a whole reset on the streetcar. One of the things I was so excited to realize is it's not a reset. What I was saying, it's a transit system. The vehicle we use is a decision we don't have to make. It's not been made. 
I mean, the board will say it's been made, but it's not too late to change that. It's the transit system we're building. And it's not about what I think. It's about what you all think, because the board works for you. It's your tax dollars, your values, your community. We work for you. I hope to have your support. I'm loving the job. And again, I hope to have your support. I'd love to come back and talk to you some more about issues if I get elected.